Hi guys. So, the last time we had a conversation about BoxyCharm was when I was a smidge upset that I had paid for a box and they lost it. Then when I told them, um, so it was supposed to be delivered, um, for like a week. Like it had been, I think, it would probably been like almost two weeks and the box hadn't been delivered. And so I contacted BoxyCharm and I'm like, where's my box? You know, like what happened? And they're like, well, it looks like it's lost. And they didn't really want to do anything about it. So... I gave it another, I think it was like three, three to five business days or something they told me and then they finally shipped me out a new box and yeah. So I got the issue handled, this was months ago, I don't even remember when I filmed that video, but this was months ago, okay, and they made it right, I will say, yeah, they made it right, they shipped me a new box. Um, but it just, it bothered me the way that their customer service was acting. And so that's why I was like, you know, after this, after this whole experience, like I'm done. I'm not going to get another, um, BoxyCharm box. And I quit, I quit my subscription. Well. <laughs> I need help. Yeah. Also, there is a mask right here hanging. Why won't it come off? Oh my god! There we go. It's super cute. It's a little, um, kitty. Sorry, that was really random. Just leave it. No. It just was distracting me. This is a really random video so far. Anyway, so, um, boxy trim. Josh told me, he's like, well, if you want to get, you know, another box, you know, I'll pay for it. No big deal. Like, see if you, see if you like it again. So, I purchased the February box, which is this one. I know it's March, but this is the February box. Um, the shipment or the subscription renewed on the first, so I will get, uh, the March box, but they did go ahead and charge me for the February and sent me the February box too. So I'm going to be doing a video on the February and then a video on, um, the March. But Josh, who, Josh is my fiance. If you guys are new, Josh is my fiance. Um, he was like, I'll pay for it. So I was like, okay. Cool, because that was the thing. It was like, then BoxyCharm increased their price. So it was $27 a month instead of $25 that I was paying. And so the um, the next box that I was going to be receiving from BoxyCharm, I was going to have to pay $27. And I was so frustrated with, I wasn't even getting a box. My boss was lost. They couldn't figure it out. And then the customer service team was kind of rude. And I was like, I hate BoxyCharm and blah, blah, blah. But I realized, you guys... I don't, um, I don't get out a lot, if I'm gonna be honest. I work from home, I kind of stay at home, and so I don't go out and look at new makeup releases as much. Um, you know, Josh will occasionally go out and go, like, to the city where I live, the closest city where I live, and, you know, will hang out and like explore and look at new things but I don't get out and like look at new makeup releases so the only makeup that I honestly was getting that I was buying was my BoxyCharm all that I had purchased was from BoxyCharm if y'all saw my Ulta account from January of 2020 it was huge. I bought so much stuff in 2020. I was doing so many reviews. It was great. And then at 2021, it's like nothing. I didn't even make enough points to get money off because I didn't buy anything from Ulta, you guys. So everything that I was getting makeup wise was from my BoxyCharm. So Josh, anyway, I know it's like a side ramble, but Josh was willing to buy the box for me. So I was like, okay, we'll, we'll do the BoxyCharm again. 
we'll do the boxy charm again. Um, so yeah, I did go ahead and uh, cut this. I did a TikTok. Um, if you guys aren't following me on TikTok, I will try to remember, probably won't remember, to put my TikTok information in the bio. You can go follow me, but I did a TikTok on this box, so I have seen some of the things in here. Yes, I am. So that's what we're going to do. So again, you guys, this is February. So it comes with the card, which is nice. It gives you the retail prices and a description of the product because people like me need it. I don't need to play a guessing game. So, all right. First thing in here, this is the Levito Age Away Hydrating Cream. Firm Hydrate Repair. What is it? Made in Israel. That's nice. Oh, it's a face cream. What the heck is this? Can I open it? There we go. Okay. Well, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. It comes in like a little, you can see where the product is. Anyway. Oh, the light is way so bright. It's a way so bright. I think I'm making it worse. Actually, I don't think I'm doing anything. What if I turn it off? Oh! Oh no, we got to have the lights. Did I put something behind it? Will that work? The light is just really bright. So you can't really see it. Um, basically, this is a face cream. Yeah, it's a hydrating cream. 1.69 ounces. It's a decent size. Does it smell? Oh, it's sealed. Kind of smells like black pepper. It's weird. Honestly, um, probably won't use this. I'm going to be honest. I like that it's made in Israel, though. That's really cool. That's really unique. Um, a lot of times we get, at least in the BoxyCharm, we get a lot of Korean skincare. So to see something from Israel, that's really cool. I love Israel. No mineral oil, no silicones. That's cool. What is this? Hmm. It says this is $55. That is not so cool. Retail price is $55 for 1.69 ounces. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh, well. I'll read you guys the description. This moisturizer is clinically proven to reduce fine lines, wrinkles, and improve skin texture. A high concentration of plant actives, including antioxidant-rich sea buckthorn and evening primrose seed oil, also rich in fatty acids, promotes cellular regeneration to restore elasticity and firmness. I'm going to give this to my mom. Because I know good and well she would use something like this. So I'm going to give this to my mom. Anyway. Oh, this is heavy. I was wondering why the box was so heavy. Real Complexion High Laron Skin Essence. 5-in-1, 11-free system from Hand Skin. Oh, Lord. Hand, hand skin? Okay. When you have nails, you guys, you can't open things. There we go. Oh, this is a pretty bottle. Hey, that's, that's massive. What does it do? It looks kind of, um, it's on the thicker side of the liquid. Developed by Hydrating Essence help you achieve glass skin with sodium hydrolinate, a powerful moisturizer capable of holding a thousand times its weight in water. Nonstick formula instantly quenches and restores your skin natural skin. I won't use this either. Okay, here's the thing, you guys. I do like skincare. Um, and that was one of the reasons why I did get rid of BoxyCharm in the first place was because I was getting so much skincare and my profile specifically says makeup. Um, and I know, um, as a company, you've got to, you can't do all makeup boxes. It's not cost effective. It's expensive. I get it. Um, but there's a lot of skincare. So I won't use this. Um, I may give this to my mom. I may give this to one of her friends, but this is a lot of product. You guys, this is 10.14 fluid ounces. This is a lot. Even if I tried it, it is a lot of product. So, I'm going to give that to my mom. 
again the packaging is gorgeous I will say it is it's it's pretty and that retails for $46 all right next thing in here is Saint Lux limited edition liner duo please don't be an eyeliner <laughs> that's one thing I don't use okay can I open it there we go. oh it's uh oh it's lip liner I mean, I know that I filmed a TikTok, like, I know, like, what it is, but I wasn't clicking. So, those are the colors. They're, like, neutral colors. Oh, oh, dear. Kind of came out a little bit. So, let's try this. This is Secret Admirer. Okay. Just a dark brown. That's pretty. And then, Love Letter. Oh, got a battery low. <laughs> All right, and I have a kitty that is telling mommy it's time for dinner. That's pretty. I probably will wear that one more than that dark brown. But yes, Shinzi. Okay, I will feed you soon. So yeah, that's cool. A little lip liner duo. Forty dollars. Okay. Well, I mean. $20 a piece for lip liner? Is that what this world has come to? Alright, so $40. Some of this stuff is pricey, you guys. Oh, okay, hold on. Alright, then we have, what is this? A mascara and a eye pencil from Trasique. Trasique? And that is $44. Oh my god. Okay. So I guess this is, oh my lord. Am I going to be able to figure this out? Because I'm not the brightest monkey in the meadow. Oh, cool! Doesn't really have a smell. That is a really big wand. Cool. Alright. I can use that. So, honestly, you guys, I probably will just use the mascara, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, eyeliners are not my thing. I cannot use eyeliner. I don't like it. These just don't really want to stay, do they? It, like, just came out. So that's fascinating. Oh. That's interesting. Okay. We'll just put that back in there. That's, that sucks. Like, the whole eyeliner just legit just comes out. Okay. I'll give the eyeliner to someone that um, can use it. I will use the mascara. Because, yeah, I will, I'll I'll definitely use the mascara. Eyeliner, not so much. And that is $44. My God. All right. The last thing in here is the Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette. This is pretty. So it's got uh, some poppy flowers, some, like, palm tree leaves things. This is a pretty... Packaging. Okay. And again on the actual palette. Okay. Now, I've only used Ace Beauté. I've only used one product from Ace Beauté, and that was their uh, bronzer. It's like four bronzers and a palette. And it literally went, like, orange to, like, dark. And I am someone that is so pale to begin with, so it just didn't really work out. That's the only thing, though, from Ace Beauté that I have tried. So this is an eyeshadow palette, so I will try this and see how I like the formula. So these are the colors. Very, so for a February palette, I can see where they were going. You know, you got a pretty pink, um, a deeper burgundy, a bright pink, pop of red, another pink down here, some purples. So for Valentine's Day and a February box, I like this. This is actually really pretty. So I will try this out and let you guys know. Um, and this retails for $38.99. So not bad for um, for an eyeshadow palette, you know, 40 bucks. That's about typical nowadays. That's kind of, you know, my gosh, guys, 30 to $40 is kind of mid-range in these days. So, but yeah, I will try it out. I will see. Um, 
maybe do a swatch party video on this palette and we'll swatch it and see what it looks like so all right well that is it you guys um i am so sorry i rambled on for <laughs> like 10 minutes but what you gonna do with me yeah so that is it you guys i will come back when i have my march boxy charm and see what i got in that month <laughs> so it'll be two this month so all right you guys i love you and i will see you in my next video bye guys